The world is beginning to appreciate our continent's creative potential, and African identity formed the central concept of this year's AFI Fashion Week. And this week, we're showcasing some of the spectacularly inventive designers and their interpretation of the theme. Fashion and the movies form a natural partnership, so the Salt River Film Studios made an appropriate venue. The combination of established and emergent designers are showcasing their latest collection. This year's theme is I Am Africa, and it's an opportunity to celebrate our heritage through fashion, art and design. The event drew the attention not only of designers and stylists, but also major sponsors, including the food and beverage industry, who were quick to appreciate the opportunity it provided. How did this collaboration come about? What we're doing is trying to make probably South African brands come to life in Africa and getting people to embrace it, and that's what we here. Our continent is already seen as the birthplace of humankind and now it's earning recognition for its contribution to cultural development and renewal, as Dr. Precious Malloy Matsebe explained. Africa is a cradle of creativity, of everything that is the arts, music, fashion, design, and there's just this diversity and confluence of very talented people on our continent. So we wanted to create a world-class platform where we can showcase this talent and make it accessible for commercial consumption. Heritage inspires Sarah Duf, who traces her roots to the Congo, the Central African Republic and Senegal. For this collection, Senegalese style came to the forefront. So the whole story behind the collection was actually looking back in the past and how we translate the cultural heritage that we had. show was divided in three parts. So the first part was the black and white silhouettes, a tribute to one of my favorite photographers, Malik Sidibe. Because in those images, you see all those women, but you cannot never guess the color that they're wearing. The second part was the transition into the world of now, and you know, this very strong African woman and how she affirms herself in an ever-moving world. And the third part was about how we as Africans are looking towards the future. While Sarah largely downplayed color in favor of complex prints, a palette played an important role for Senegal-based designer Adama Ndiaye, also known as Adama Paris. Originally a banker, before pursuing her true passion, Adama used the experience of the business sector to set up the Dakar Fashion Week and she designs for women of the world. I'm talking to women. I want them to feel powerful, to feel beautiful the way we are. We're blonde, black, we're all African and we're beautiful. And we are the future of the world, whether they believe it or not. Adele Diak was born in Nigeria, but she counts London and Nairobi among the cities in which she's lived and worked. Her interest in style began with a girlhood bead collection, and her mother passed her love of African textiles to Adele. My whole collection is always inspired by Africa, so it's nothing new. I like to consider myself part of the African Renaissance movement. Many people see accessories as a secondary item, but you disagree strongly. Imagine going to a restaurant and ordering a meal and it's tasteless. Women without accessories like food without any flavor. Adele pairs her garments down to minimalist essentials, allowing the jewelry she designs to take the place of honor. In contrast to Adele, South African designer Mzukisi Mbane took a very different approach, combining color, silhouettes and detailing to create a series of eye-catching looks that not only challenged conventional ideas but also told an authentically African narrative. How did you interpret the theme I Am Africa? I think for me, it kind of worked with my aesthetic and it also connected to the story that I wanted to tell. A lot of times we look at Africa, we look at the print, we look at the fabrics, and we never look at the narrative, the stories that are very strong of African women. If you look at the film, we realize that it was all a dream, and then she realizes how powerful she is. 
I feel like for everyone, when you get that epiphany of realizing how powerful you just have to run and make it work. So she ran on the fashion film and then she ran to the runway, which is something powerful. How do you believe that African fashion can help us go global? By us celebrating our heritage, our culture, the world is watching and everyone is loving it. Born in Kimberley and now based in Kalteng, Orapaleng Madudle has attracted A-list clients who are drawn to the fusion of flamboyance and elegance that characterizes his couture collections. There is no place like Africa, with its vast savannas to its teeming cities. It is a place of unparalleled beauty. It's also a continent which is rich in diversity, where fashion designers are showing us how to celebrate our heritage through fashion, art and design. It's been a long time coming, but African style is being noticed, commented on and admired. <laughs>